Hi, my name is Sam Dharesh Shekharan and welcome to this database video lesson. In this lesson, we will talk about Oracle privilege and role. Okay, so if you notice, we have these three tabs system privileges, object privileges, and roles. The reason why I am reading it in this order is I always believed that that would be the right order okay so if you notice so we have role and we have privileges and privileges are divided into two types of privileges system privileges and object privilege so what is a privilege okay so a privilege is some kind of you know access right that is granted to a user okay like a direct access like now it clearly says that okay you are going to have this right or this privilege okay for example here it says create session that's a system privilege so it says this user hey user test you are gonna get this create session privilege so you can connect okay and there are a lot of privilege for example uh, you know if I grant uh, create uh, view okay or create uh, table if I give create table privilege then I'm saying that okay allow this user test to create to, to, to have the ability of creating table right so it's clear cut right it gives what it it, it, it exactly mentions what uh, access right or the privilege that the user is getting okay and if I say create trigger I'm saying like now okay this user uh, let this user uh, uh, be able to create trigger okay or uh, you know drop a profile or drop a table space something like that like now if you look at these privileges you see everything is like now specific and mostly self explanatory by looking at this you would be able to say like now like ah oh, yeah this is the privilege and using this privilege this user can do this okay it's more direct okay let me cancel this and if you go to object privilege right you can select the objects first and then you can decide what privilege on that object you are going to give I'm, I'm going to talk about system privilege and object privilege later but then that's the point the point is like now yeah let's say you know uh, let's say deuce okay HR okay okay what do we select okay let me let me scheme on him okay maybe I'm missing something here okay but I'll, I'll, I'll explain that uh, later uh, basically that you know you can you know grant access on objects owned by others and again this privilege would be straight right now hold on a second I think I select the object type table click add okay selected the object type table click add and then I choose HR and then I go okay see earlier it was under a uh, it was looking for a chain but now when I change it to tables so now let's say you know HR um, it's an it's a schema uh, and it wants a table called 
jobs okay so you select the table hr dot jobs and then what kind of privilege on that object that i can grant to this user so if i say select then the user test can select do a select on this table okay so privilege again is something uh, which is which which is very specific and it's so direct uh, it deals with what kind of rights that you are giving on an object or on the uh, database system privilege on the databases system related access okay that's privilege whereas roles roles you know uh, they don't grant anything they are empty generally by default you know to begin with you know uh, roles are uh, uh, you know just uh, empty empty in the sense like now you can create a role right and then assign the privileges to it right and then you can grant the role to the user okay it's more for like you know uh, ease of maintenance purpose imagine you create like hundreds of users and having to grant uh, uh, privileges uh, like now uh, thousands of privileges on the thousands of objects that you have in the database to each and every user right so that would be painful so instead you create a role and then you put the appropriate privileges into the role and then you grant the role to the users okay so that's the difference right so within oracle there are you can get the access in two types i mean once you once you log in you know you can uh, you can uh, get the privileges or, or the access rights uh, in two ways one is you get those through roles uh, or you get those through system privileges or object privileges directly but then when you get access uh, through roles you are basically getting the privileges assigned to those roles and then you are uh, uh you know you're able to access the objects or the, the system tasks uh, beneath it as per what the role has thank you